of prosecutions. That would be really dangerous for victims and means that they wouldn't be protected adequately because one of these orders would not give, for example, a criminal conviction to the perpetrators. Well, there are also plans for police to be able to fast track certain cases. Nearly a quarter of all women and 10% of men in England and Wales have experienced some form of stalking since the age of 16. Would not give, for example, a criminal conviction to the perpetrators. Well, there are also plans for police to be able to fast track certain cases. Nearly a quarter of all women and 10% of men in England and Wales have experienced some form of stalking since the age of 16. Just minutes after he was at the meeting. Everybody is aware that time is critical and 750 members of the workforce are looking at drawing down the skills funding package that's available to get new training uh, in the skills or to up skill themselves in various fields. There's also three very important work streams that are being taken forward. One concerns enterprise hubs for new business startups. Second concerns uh, the resilience of Bridge End Town Centre itself. And then the third is focused on making um, a first class, world class destination out of Port Thorn. We're looking at all opportunities for the site. 21 um, expressions of interest have come forward. Um, five of those would see the site utilised for one purpose. We're not ruling anything out. We're making sure that every single opportunity is given full attention and support. And even if those opportunities can't be landed for the site itself, we're looking at the region and making sure that as many jobs are created here as possible. Welsh Secretary Simon Hart was also at this morning's meeting. The MP for Carmarthen West and South Pembrokeshire told me talks were positive. Everybody uh, well advanced with their thinking. Uh, I can determine to make sure that the any downsides of this particular trial.